thank you makes you feel very humble hey Mally hey Chewy hi guys welcome back to the channel um, I'm gonna jump straight into it I've got all the doors for all the lockers the overhead lockers all the doors for the upright cupboards everything now has all been cut and prepped I'm now gonna start routing all the edges so that we can put in this uh, knocking tea trim edging still hasn't arrived but it's all been ordered the material for covering the the doors has all been ordered I'm kind of hoping it'll be here today but today I'm just going to get the routing done and also I've got uh, some 200 by 100 mil uh, by 10 mil aluminium plates that have been cut and made for me to go to sit underneath the brackets for my Fiamma awning. I've got a, a Fiamma F80S wind out 4 meter awning which is going on the roof. It was on my previous van which fortunately before the insurance cap company got their hands on it I managed to get the, the awning off. I've got to adapt some flat roof brackets which I've got for this vehicle by putting the plates underneath and when I show you up on the roof you'll understand why I've got to put these plates underneath because underneath the awning the awning sits at an angle on the edge of the van which has got a rounded uh, profile on it when the awning goes out it sort of drops and sags a little bit because of the weight and the shape of the brackets they sort of need just need tilting or lifting a little bit because as it comes back in there's a lip like sort of a, a lip that's just hitting the round profile so as it's coming in being wound in it's hitting that round profile by about 10 15 mil i'm hoping so anyway i've got six plates i only need three but he's cut me six plates just in case i need to double them up if i have to double them up i'm not overly happy with that when we're on the roof i'll be able to explain and show you a little bit easier um so that you sort of fully understand right so these are the uh brackets and these are the plates the aluminium plates so what i'm going to do is get up on the roof and show you basically how they're going to go i got to tell you this roof is flipping hot oh, i think i'm going to have to go and get a a mat to lay on that. i'm going to try and show you these brackets are made perfectly for this type of profile. See the way they sit in? Absolutely beautifully. It's like they've been made for this roof, funny enough, the flat roof brackets. So this is obviously a sort of standard profile that they'd use on, on the corners of aluminium fabricated bodywork or, or GRP or whatever. When you wind it out, it drops, okay? Because there's this lip on the bottom of the front of this awning see it's actually uh it's a channel designed for a it's an led light channel basically and it is where i'm going to be fitting led lights so anyway so that drops and as you're winding it back in it gets caught here so the idea of these brackets is to lift it so that as it goes out so when i wind it in i'm hoping that this 10 mil is just enough that it does the job if not then Houston we have a problem
two of them done now. Spot on. Yep. Where I drove the uh, the van, the fridge, the fridge hasn't been fixed improperly. Inside the fridge, just here and here, both sides, there's screw holes so that the, the fridge screws into the sides of your cabinet. That stops it moving backwards, forwards, up, down. Um, well, shouldn't move down because you're sitting on the base anyway, but so I'm gonna pull the fridge out now. I haven't fixed it because I was waiting to pull it out so I can fit the trim in here. So I've got the orange trim that's gonna go in there just to finish off these edges. So I'll pull the fridge out, just sit it there, get the trim in, and we can now fix the fridge in permanently. Turn it off totally. Last piece to go in now. It's actually worked okay, to be honest with you. This up here we'll be changing for a, a stainless steel, uh, uh, a brushed sort of aluminium type of louver. Happy with that, that looks a lot neater. So, Basically now, the fridge can go in and now be permanently fixed. There we go. this fridge on before it starts defrosting on me. Which one is it? There we go. Right, it's now time to go back outside and start routing the doors. It's taken a, a bit of time to get the to get the uh, router bit perfectly central. I'm pretty much happy with it now. So we're going to go ahead. We've been testing on a a scrap piece of wood so let's see if we can try to avoid ruining the actual doors
Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage. That's basically what I've been getting up to for the last few days on the, um, the van build. We're nearing the end. I have underestimated just how much work still needs to be done on the van. When I was saying that, you know, we'll do episode 20 or 21, it'll be the last one followed by the final reveal. I think there's a couple more videos to come yet. However, I am scratching for jobs at the moment. You know, I don't really like to do tutorial videos. I don't like to spend so much time on me doing something and explaining what I'm doing. That's that's not what, what my videos are about. I'll do a little bit of talking, then I'll do a montage, finished off with a little bit of talking, maybe answer a question or two. I really am scratching for, for jobs. Yes, there's, there's stuff that I can do, like I need to box off uh, this cabling over the door. I need to box off the cabling over the rear doors. So that's being covered in the same material that's on the walls and on the ceiling. But I don't really want to keep showing you me cutting wood. You don't want to be seeing that in every video. So each day, unfortunately, or not each day, but I have to do this stuff so, so often. So I'm kind of, I'm at the stage where I really am struggling to sort of bring any content with regards to the van build because the van is pretty much done now. The overhead locker doors have to be put on. The upright cupboard doors have to be put on. The locks have to be fitted. That sort of stuff needs doing, but it's boring content in showing it or I think it is anyway. So I am pretty much running out of stuff to film with regards to to van build updates. So I've tried to sling together as best as possible in this video, just what I've been up to, because we really, really can't wait to get on the road and start using this thing and sharing our experiences with you, you know, driving around the country, driving around Europe. We really can't wait to start bringing you that content, doing some, some stealthy camping, wild camping, as best as we possibly can in 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 a vehicle that isn't quite so stealthy um i've got uh the axle the gearbox and the engine oils all need servicing all the oils need changing i will briefly show you uh the maintenance i'm going to be performing on the van but when it comes to to showing build updates woodworking etc you've seen it all time and time again in these videos we really, really cannot wait to go away and start using this vehicle. So look guys, I'm gonna bring this video out to you. I am, a, I am a day behind, but I wanted to get down here, finish off, do a few bits and pieces so I can get this video finished and bring it to you. I'm telling you now, it is 2.30 p.m. I'm now gonna shut up shop, finish editing this video. The next video, which I wanna bring out literally in two or three days time, is going to be purely a Q&A video um, from myself and Dina. So if you have any questions at all with regards to the van build, ourselves, if you have any questions, please ask and we'll do our best to answer them in the next Q&A video, which I'm hoping to be, like I say, around midweek. Or thereabouts so um so stay tuned for that but anyway moving on guys if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up participate in the comments fire away with any questions and um, we'll catch up with you in the q a video so uh stay safe everyone catch you later